Good morning! I am currently getting ready and I thought that maybe you guys would like to keep me company. I am trying to tame this hair. Like really, and it's still kind of wet, which is why it looks dark at the top. Or maybe I just didn't shampoo it well enough. We'll find out. Um, I've been really trying to embrace my natural hair lately, but it's a little wild. So I found what works really well is actually just going in with a flat iron and just grabbing like literally only about six pieces and just making a more defined curl just like this twisting in and it just makes it look a little bit cleaned up so i am getting ready to go get my blood drawn I mean, I'm not getting ready to get my blood drawn. I'm getting ready to go to brunch after I get my blood drawn. But first, I have to get my blood drawn. I hate doing it. I mean, does anyone like it? Probably not. But like for me, for the longest time, I couldn't do it at all. Like I would freak out. And now I'm kind of getting over it. But I have to get my blood drawn because I'm going to this hair specialist doctor. And they really get to the root of the problem, no pun intended, for your hair issues. So me, I have been losing so much hair. You guys don't understand. Like this has been a problem since 2015. I took uh, the drug Accutane for cystic acne. And ever since then, literally my hair is just not recovered. It's so bad, it's so dry. It's all falling out. It's terrible. So this doctor needs to run like a full blood panel and test my hormones, my nutrients, all of it, and make sure that that's not causing a problem. So, <sighs> yes, that is what I'm doing. But before I head out, I would just like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. So if you're in the market for a website, a domain, or an online shop, Squarespace is where it's at. I personally love Squarespace because it's incredibly user-friendly. You can know absolutely nothing about web design and end up with a site that looks extremely professional. They have tons of amazing templates you can choose from, which makes starting your site a breeze. And they make the process so effortless with their all-in-one platform because there's nothing to install or upgrade ever. But if for whatever reason you do find yourself needing help, you can always count on their award-winning 24-7 customer service. So if you'd like to put your plans into action with Squarespace, they are offering anyone watching this video a free trial as well as 10% off of your first website or domain. All you have to do is head to squarespace.com slash or you can click the link in my video description. I was literally out the door when I just realized that I forgot to feed Hermie. I didn't tell you guys, but I got a new pet. His name is Hermie. I have to feed him some lettuce. I completely almost forgot that would have been so bad. So you guys are really gonna laugh at this. I have a pet, um, very small insect right now that I've been nursing to health. Buki's a little jealous. She's a little, she's been a little jealous, yes. Okay, here's what happened. So I was making a sandwich. I had put all of my produce on my table, avocado, tomato, lettuce. I go to grab the bun, the bread. I was making a veggie burger, not a sandwich. Doesn't matter. I, I turn around, I grab the buns, I come back, and there's this little tiny green bug on my counter. I'm like, where did you come from? I don't, I don't know if he came from, I mean, now I do know that he came from the tomatoes, but um, he is a tomato bug. And I put, I gave him a, a little bit of lettuce on a plate and I set it on my patio, right? I was like, okay, be free, go out into the world, right? And then the next day I check and he's just still there. And I'm just like, I know this is so ridiculous, okay? It's just a little bug, whatever, an insect. Um, but I don't know, I just felt like he was helpless and like needed my assistance and I kind of just wanted to like, I mean, I'm bored, let's face it. So <laughs> I crafted him a little home. I did some research, I found out what like species he is and stuff and, uh, and I've been feeding him tomato vines and lettuce and what's been really cool actually is that I've watched him grow and at first he didn't have wings and then all of a sudden he got like little nubs and now this morning I went to check on him and he like 
molted you know like kind of like uh, i think that's what it's called like when a bug completely like sheds and changes almost kind of like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly type thing you can see his old shell and now all of a sudden he has wings but he's still not flying <laughs> Once he starts flying, I'm gonna let him out even though I actually think he'll probably die instantly because I think he needs Tomatoes to survive. I don't know. We'll find out but here he is. I don't know if you guys can see him This is my little setup. I got him in here with some paper and some holes and Hermie, where are you? <laughs> I Need help. What can I say you guys might not be able to see him because he's really small But he's right there He's not really moving much today. He's kind of worrying me. Okay, I've officially stalled enough. So let's go. Let's get it over with. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> so I don't know if this is just the universe having my back or if I'm just stupid, but apparently they close at noon and it is 11.56. <laughs> So I officially stalled my way out of it, even though I really thought they were open till three for some reason. So that sucks. I really wanted to get it over with and now I'm <laughs> All right, we're on our way now. We've made it to the car. We got this. Uh, speaking of cars, I am currently in a rental car. Which is so weird because this is the first time I've had a car that takes gas in probably about six or seven years. And it was it's just been so weird to me to have to go to the gas station after having an electric car for such a long time. But um, I've been driving this for like a month and Monday I get my new car, which I actually ended up just getting the same car I had before, which is the Tesla Model S because I just... I can't live without it. I really tried. Um, I wanted to kind of be a little bit more practical with my money when it comes to my car choice, but <laughs> I don't know. I went to look at some other options and ultimately I just felt like, you know what? I just, I need it. I have to have it. So finally getting it on Monday. I'm so excited to swap these out. Mm, it's gonna be good. Look how beautiful. Wow, look at this bar. So at this restaurant, when you order, like if you want avocado toast, you can't say, I like the avocado toast. You have to say, I am peaceful. <laughs> so what am I, guys? I'm really feeling like I am graceful today. This sounds amazing. So I realize that I am literally the worst vlogger. Didn't show my food. Who am I? Uh, I had a veggie toast. It had like a vegan cheese on it. It was so good. And then I also had this buffalo cauliflower, which was amazing. So I didn't know if my friend wanted to be on camera, Natalie. Um, so I didn't really pull my camera out and film much of brunch, but uh, I was meeting up with her. She was actually a longtime viewer who reached out to me because she's working on creating a platform for transitional vegans or just plant-based, you know, people who are really trying to make strides towards being vegan but aren't quite there yet. She wanted just some insight from me and some advice and we had a really good time, really good talk. If you're watching this, Natalie, thank you for coming to hang out with me. I had a lot of fun and, um, but yeah, I didn't want to bust my camera out and put it in her face because, you know, I just didn't want to be like that invasive. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so now I just ventured out to this little beach town. Um, I'm still getting to know my neighborhood. And so the fun part about that is that I don't know what I'm going to find when I go places. So I put this place into my GPS and I'm like really shocked at how cute this area is. So I'm looking to buy a housewarming gift for Joey and Daniel. They just got into their new house, finally, after all of these hiccups, I'm so excited for them. So I wanted to swing by, drop them off a gift, um, and I kept thinking, what do I buy to men that have it all? They really, they have it all. That's what's really hard about being in an industry where people 
are just so successful it's like what do you get them I, I don't know what to get them but I am pretty good at gift giving so I'm thinking I'm gonna get them a really bougie candle and which is funny because doesn't bougie mean candle in French because you always see it says bougie on candles like fancy candles so I'm gonna get them a candle candle <laughs> Um, I was thinking of getting them one of those Lalabo candles that you can personalize the label so I can have it say to Joey and Daniel on there and they can sit it on their coffee table or some, something nice, you know, in their mansion. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's get out and explore. See guys, look how beautiful this is. It's like a little marina. Living. And just in general, look how cute this whole little street is. It's so uh, old town, old town vibes. Ah, here it is. This little fragrance area. Look how it's like, everything is so aesthetic here. Like, I really wanted to film. It's like the little things for me. Like, I love how they have their return policy printed in this little notebook. Like, amazing. And just the whole vibe. So cool, right? So these are the candles. They're currently making mine right now. I got them this guy. This is my favorite. I have it in my apartment. Oh my god, I'm just walking, minding my own business. <laughs> Who left you out here? Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> so you can't really see it because it's already sealed in the box, but the label will be on the candle that says for Joey and Daniel I think is really cute. Hopefully they like it. I think I'm also gonna get them a bottle of champagne so we can pop a bottle when I get there. So when I got home there were literally like eight packages at my door. So I thought I would do a little unboxing haul with you guys and see what I got. So most of these are from eBay because I am building a collection. I never thought I would say this because I'm really not the collecting type uh, but I've kind of become obsessed with collecting things that remind me of my childhood or things that were really special to me as a child uh, so like it's mostly books but there are a few like toys and items that I also wanted to get that just felt special to me so I don't know what is in what and honestly I went on a bit of a bender <laughs> and I ordered like 10 things so I can't even really remember. It's, I was almost like drunk when I did that. Um, so let's find out what I got. So this is probably the most expensive thing I think I ordered out of everything and it probably originally retailed for maybe 3 or $4 and I paid I want to say 35 it is an original from the 90s Lisa Frank stationery set. And I definitely had my fair share of these as a child. And I was willing to spend this much on this one specifically because I had this folder and I want to say third grade. And it's just, Bookie, Bookie's licking my back. Baby girl, excuse me. Anyway, really excited to see this. I never thought I would see one of these again. Next we have a fragrance that I want to say was probably the first fragrance I ever wore in my entire life. How many of you guys wore this? Loves Baby Soft. This is like, I have not taken a whiff of this in probably 20 years, 22 years, 23 years. not quite what I remembered. I feel like they changed it. This is not like what, what I'm remembering. It smells much more synthetic, but maybe I just didn't realize as a child. Okay, next we have, uh, it's all wrapped up in newspaper. Oh! <gasps> I mean, this is actually in great condition. So this is a old copy of the Magic School Bus. And this is the one where they go inside the human body, which I was always very, very fascinated by. So cool. So this is actually like before the show. And the show was based on this. I'm pretty positive. 
This is a big one that I'm really, really excited about. This was probably, quite possibly, one of the favorite things that I ever had as a child. So it's the Disneyland game. And uh, I don't really know how to explain this. Basically, you just go, I mean, I don't even know if I remember how to play this, honestly. And also my favorite VHS tape was the Disneyland sing-along, which I also did order. Buki, I don't know why she, like, she can't s handle. She can't handle when I'm giving attention to something else. You're so needy. Hmm? Do <laughs> you see this? Anyway, um, I have to admit, though, I'm a little bummed because this reeks of smoke. And I feel like if you sell something on eBay and it smells like cigarettes, you should disclose that because now I don't know if I really want this. Just makes me sad. And then these last couple packages I have are actually from ThreadUp and I'm gonna be filming a whole separate haul video for these I'm really excited about. So I got some like sexy kind of like going out clothes, kind of like I'm single. I'm thinking I'm gonna call the video like I'm single haul or like trying to have a social life clothing haul because right now in my wardrobe I really only have like very basic stuff. I don't have anything to go out in because I don't go out. <laughs> but now that I'm single I really feel like I should get out more when people invite me to events or to go out at night to like a club or bar or whatever I should start saying yes at least sometimes and I have nothing to wear so I needed to get like some some more kind of like nightlife clothing so I found some amazing things on thread up that I'm really excited to see if they're gonna work out or not so I'm gonna film that haul now I mean why not I don't know so I just got done writing my video outline and I was just about to get up to film when I realized I'm dead, like I'm so tired. Maybe it's Buki's presence because she's so like sleepy and calming and I just really wanna curl up with her and take a freaking nap. I think honestly, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think I'm exhausted from socializing <laughs> because for this past, mm, I wanna say six weeks, I've literally been alone uh besides going to class and even there i don't really talk to anyone it's pretty much just listening to the professor lecture um so meeting up with natalie today was like the most conversation i've had in a really long time and i'm just not used to that i think so i don't know it's weird i thought being this alone was going to be difficult for me but it's actually getting easier and easier every day and I'm fine. Like I kind of prefer just being alone, at least in this stage of my life right now. I mean, it's weird. I'm just in a weird place in general in life right now. And I think especially because what I do for a living is so unconventional, it makes things even weirder because I'm allowed to just be alone in my place all day, every day, and still make a living with no human interaction. And I don't think it's a situation that many people can really even put themselves in to imagine what that must be like because most people at least have to go to their jobs and interact with other people. So you might think you're a loner, but until you're a true loner and you don't leave or talk to anyone, you might not know what it's like. But at first I was really scared that it was gonna be terrifying. But like I said, like the more days go by, like I'm just my own best friend now and I've kind of, uh, I feel like it's been helping me grow and helping me find my true voice even more. And I don't know, I'm fine. I'm gonna be just fine. And I have to say, one thing that has really helped me is YouTube, truly it has. And I think especially with my more kind of unfiltered, uh, raw content, just not really caring as much about the perfect, you know, editing and lighting and branding and all of that and just having it be about an authentic connection. I think that's really helped me because 
I mean, with my perfectionism problem in the past, you know, I feel like I was always enabling myself by forcing myself to do what my intrusive thoughts were telling me to do or saying to do. Um, but now that I've kind of told them to fuck off and I'm just like doing whatever I want to do, it's kind of like the cognitive behavioral therapy that I was supposed to do with my therapist that I never really did. And I feel like it's kind of breaking down that wall and letting me know that, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world if I don't listen to those intrusive thoughts. And YouTube, surprisingly, has really been helping with that. I always thought YouTube would be the thing that made it more difficult. But surprisingly, I have found this little like way to help it help me. Anyway, I'm I'm not really making sense because I truly am exhausted. I don't know what's happening right now. I, I never, ever, ever nap during the day, but I just feel like I need to just piss out with my baby. Just cuddling with the baby, and I was about to fall asleep, but then I turned on Ellen. I've been watching this for a while. I think I'm on the third season. This is uh, Ellen's sitcom from the 90s. And I just, I don't know, there's just something about her presence that just like makes me feel happy. So I've just been loving watching her sitcom on Hulu. Guys, I don't know what's happening with me right now, but it is only nine o'clock and I'm about to go to bed. I never ended up falling asleep with Buki. There she is. Uh, I was just kind of laying there and relaxing and watching TV for a bit, but uh, I need to make dinner and I'm thinking I'm gonna make a sushi bowl. I have all the stuff for it. So it's just like mushrooms and carrots and um, seaweed and rice and cucumbers and something else. First thing I have going is just a little bit of this sesame oil and then some minced garlic and I'm just browning it. And then I'm going to add in my chopped mushroom. Mm -mm -mm. Then I also added some of these little shredded carrots from Trader Joe's, super convenient. And I'm also going to add some edamame. Get in that protein. Oh, okay, a lot. <laughs> and for my sauce, I'm just gonna keep it really basic and do a splash of soy sauce, of course. Uh, sriracha, always and forever, quite a bit. I like it spicy. And just to balance out the flavor of spicy, salty, need a little bit of sweetness. I personally love doing just like literally a teaspoon of maple syrup. It really just helps bring out the rest of the flavors. I know I sound like such a pro cook right now. Oh my God, balancing the flavors. <laughs> Um, speaking of flavor, so I'm gonna serve this over brown rice, but I'm also gonna garnish the top with some sliced cucumbers that I have marinating in rice vinegar. So totally optional, but I find it gives them a nice little kick, which I really like. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some black sesame seeds on top, just for a little extra crunch and calcium and that looks good. And I put the cucumbers on the side, not only because it looks pretty for you guys, but also because it helps keep them crunchy instead of getting you know, heated up from the rest of the veggies. And I just kind of want to put, I feel like this is cute. Kind of looks like little kiwis. <laughs> okay, I'm getting uh, ridiculous now. And then normally when I make this recipe, um, I do make a spicy mayo to put on the middle and uh usually i slice an avocado as well to serve with this but listen i'm tired <laughs> this is the 10 minute edition all right this literally only took me 10 minutes to make and i'm gonna scarf it down and pass out oh <gasps> what are you saying what do you gotta say girly what you, what you gotta say you said where's my dinner yeah that's what you're saying <laughs> Um, so thanks for hanging out today guys. Honestly, I was a little hesitant to vlog just because I am in such a weird place. I don't know if I should be vlogging, but part of me feels like it'll help me. Part of me feels like it's scary. Um, 
yes, we hear you. <laughs> um, but I think the louder voice is saying that it's good for me. You guys are like really my strongest connection to the outside world right now. I love reading your comments and just feeling like I have this community that I'm connected to in a way. So thank you so much for your love and support during this weird time of my life. Um, I am doing okay though. I feel like if you have to say that, that probably means that you're not doing okay. But no, really I am, I am doing okay. As okay as I can be for the circumstances. But um, Anyway, I don't want to get all sappy again, so I'm gonna go again Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you really soon. Bye